What's up guys and welcome to this week's episode of We Are The Bonsai Supply. I am the growth manager Jerome at The Bonsai Supply and today we're going to work on this Sea Hibiscus Tiliacus Tricolor. So they call it Tricolor because there's three colored leaves on it. There is a green one which is this one, oh which is this one. Then there's a variegated leaf in here which is this one. And then there is also a red one in here as well. So, there is also a, a sea hibiscus that's all green, then there's a variegated, and then there's a tricolor one. Now the sea hibiscus tiliacus is used a lot in bonsai, especially in Taiwan. So sea hibiscuses, they have a, a yellow flower. Um, the flowers, they flower for one day, just like a regular hibiscus, and then they fall off. Now sea hibiscuses grow extremely fast, especially the roots. They fill up a pot unbelievably fast so therefore you have to repot a sea hibiscus more often maybe twice a year since um, sea hibiscuses are such vigorous growers you can defoliate them on a monthly basis you heard that right a monthly basis so in Taiwan they actually defoliate sea hibiscuses on a bi-weekly basis because they grow so fast and so down here I do it about once a month if I have the chance um, and the leaves are very big, right? But you can actually uh, shrink the leaves down to about... Bear with me. You can shrink the leaves down to about this size. So by defoliating the tree once a month, you're improving the overall vigor of the tree. Uh, you're also shrinking the leaves over time. And then once you have all the branches set, you just go ahead and cut all the branches in half, the leaves in half, and that's how you can shrink them. Now, once you have all the branches in place, you don't have to repot it as frequently anymore because you want the leaves to stay smaller. Every time you repot, the leaves come out much bigger, and then you have to shrink them down again. So, tree. This is a, a very big and old sea hibiscus uh, tiliacus. The first thing that I do when I work on a material like this is I clean up the trunk mass and I also defoliate the entire tree so that I see what I'm dealing here with. So I'm going to go ahead and defoliate the entire tree and then we're going to go look at the uh, branch structure and see which branches we're going to remove and which ones we are going to keep. Okay, so here it goes. Now the next step is I'm going to have to find the front of the tree and then I'm going to have to remove the uh, unnecessary branches. So in my opinion, let's take a look here. So all I'm doing right now is I'm just looking for the front, so the most appealing uh, trunk movement that, that I can see right now and that I can incorporate into the front. This, the, there's a twist inside the trunk and the, uh, the, the trunk is already starting to crackle up because it's so old. So there's movement in the trunk that is going into this direction which is a lot thicker than this direction. So I think I'm going to use this here as my first branch and I'm going to cut this top piece off and then this will come in as my second branch on this side. So it's extremely difficult right now to find the line of the tree, but this is where I'm at so far. Um, I think this is going to be my front right in here, just the way, just as you guys are looking at it. So this would be my front. Now when you look at it from this angle, you can see the, the wideness of the trunk. You can see the movement of this branch going into this direction. 
you can see all of this and then over here you can also see all of that movement right here so how I, I, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to get rid of this branch up here because it's straight and it's going back this way but usually I will go ahead now and start to cut on the tree and um, but since this is the first bonsai styling that this tree will ever have I decided to remove the uh, pot cut out the roots and um, once I potted into the uh, new pot I kind of know already at this point which angle I'm going to go with I also don't know what I'm going to find down here inside this pot I mean I don't know what I can expect in here so I'm just going to go ahead and as I said I'm just going to repot it into the new pot and then I'm going to start to chop chop it all up and then at the very end I'm going to style it even though there's not that much styling to do today on this tree but we still have to remove a lot of branches and kind of sort of figure out which way we want to go so Hibiscuses can take an extremely hard root pruning without any problems and actually all of these straight branches that I cut off from here these I can just plant and then this will grow into a brand new tree so from sea hibiscuses you can take some really big size cuttings now I cut off a lot of branches without explaining and uh, now here it is so this branch was over here and I cut it out because there's a lot of movement from from the trunk, from the base of the trunk, goes up into this branch, it comes back and up, and then it's just straight. So this I did not like. So I just cut this off, and now I'm gonna use these branches here to make this side of the tree. Now on the other side, I had this piece right here. So this piece was somehow, it was something like this. You know what, maybe this piece wasn't here. Yeah, I think this piece was near. I had it uh, the other way around, but it doesn't matter. So, this piece again, the same thing. Nice movement from the base, comes into here, shoots straight up. So, I took this right off. And now, this piece right here, I left it uh, alone, even though it's pretty straight. However, it is not as straight as the other two pieces were. The other two pieces, this one was crossing back into the tree, and this one was just completely straight. This one has some movement up into here that, that I'm and going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and style the tree which means I'm going to apply some wire and start to shape these branches because most of these branches are quite boring they're just completely straight so I'm going to try to put some movement into these branches um, sea hibiscuses they mostly grow on shores um, especially here in Florida you do see them a lot a lot of people mistake them with the uh, sea grape um, I prefer the sea hibiscus. I really love how the uh, uh, leaf is kind of like heart shaped. So I really like that. So um, I'm going to go ahead and wire the tree now. So catch you guys in a minute. So I finished styling it. Um, I think this tree is going to come out to here at some point. Um, I'm going to let this branch run a little more so that this will thicken up and I'll have a, a much thicker first branch. Um, oh, there goes a the squirrel. Um, this side I really like because this side is really, you know, gnarly and it's very got a lot of movement in it. So I do like this side very much. The only thing that's a real thorn in my eye is this branch right here because the tree goes up so far and I don't think I want to have the tree up that high so I think 
I think I'm just gonna cut it right here. You know what? I have to do it. Cause I don't love it. All right, so if you're not sure, it always helps to take off a little by little. Now let's see what that looks like from a little further away. Actually, I like this. <laughs> Actually, I like this now a lot better. If I would have cut here, I thought it, I think it was would have been too short. I think this is going to give me the exact height that I was looking for. Um, I think all in all, the tree came out. Okay, whoa. I think all in all the tree came out better than I expected, which is always a plus. I think I don't want to have the tree any taller than here. I'm just letting this one run to create some more movement into this uh, main trunk right here. And I want this to really thicken up more. So I'm just gonna let this one grow and grow and grow. I'm gonna let this here grow and this one grow until this has healed over. And then I'm gonna start my um, ramification process. The cool thing is that I have all the branches at a very good uh, place right here. So I can just really, um, at this point, I can just go ahead and start to develop the tree versus uh, having to grow out more of the branches. So I'm very pleased overall. And uh, as I said, I think I'm gonna keep it about this high, but I'm in my mind, this tree has like a million branches. Like I wanna see it very tight and very um, a very nice ramification in the future, which is not that hard to do with this type of tree since they grow so fast. So the soil mixture that we used here is our all-purpose soil mixture, which is pumice, turfus, lava rock, and pine bark. And now also on the website, we offer all the uh, aggregates uh, by themselves. So if you wanna create your own soil mixture or you wanna add a little something more, uh, you are now able to do so. So please check out the uh, soil site and um, I'm going to put the link below where you can check out the uh, fertilizers, the insecticides that we have and the soil mixtures as well. So if you are interested in one of these sea hibiscus, the tricolors, uh, please reach out to us. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned a little something at the same time and um, I'll see you guys next time.